Aaron Taylor, these are the main headlines on Al Jazeera. In Côte d'Ivoire, a United Nations helicopter has fired on troops of the incumbent president, Laurent Gbagbo. The action was taken to prevent Gbagbo's forces from using heavy weapons against a military camp in the city of Abidjan. That comes as France has authorized its troops to join UN operations in the country. Gbagbo lost the presidential elections in November, but has refused to hand over power to his rival, Alassane Ouattara. Haru Mutasa reports. This just shows how tense this area is. Over there, if people want to get through checkpoints set out throughout Abidjan, they are physically checked to make sure they aren't carrying any weapons. This is as far as we are allowed to go. We're told any further, further inside the city centre of Abidjan, there are more checkpoints, people who are armed, and we are, are forbidden to go any further. The residents of this community say they're stopping us from going forward for our safety. The U.S. has described the latest outbreak of violence in Yemen as appalling. Several people died after police and military forces opened fire on protesters calling for the end of President Ali Abdullah Saleh's 32-year rule. In the city of Taiz, witnesses say troops and gunmen shot at thousands of people, with some demonstrators getting trampled on during the chaos which followed. And in Libya, rebel fighters have pushed back into the oil town of Brega, pledging to drive out Colonel Gaddafi's forces. The opposition has now reportedly seized half the town, although the ongoing violence has forced many civilians to flee. In Britain, Foreign Minister William Hague has stated the government is prepared to supply non-lethal equipment to the opposition fighters, whilst Italy has given its backing to the pro-democracy movement. Italian Foreign Minister Franco Frattini spoke to Al Jazeera's Barbara Serra in Rome. You've now endorsed the National Council as the only body that you will deal with in Libya. What assistance are you going to give to them and crucially do you plan on arming them? Armed supply. This is not excluded by the 1973 resolution. Why? Because uh, it talks about uh, supporting with all means the protection of civilians. And where civilians are under attack in the streets, since the uh, uh, foreign troops cannot be involved on the ground, we should think about giving them self-defense means. Don't forget, you can watch Al Jazeera online. Just head to our website, aljazeera.net forward slash English. Those were the headlines. I'm Lauren Taylor. That's it for me. Bye-bye.